everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are actually out of town. My wife and JoJo are actually outside the car right now because he'll be yelling like he loves to drive, so he'll want to get up here at the steering wheel and go, drive, drive, drive. So I, I, he's, he's waiting out there. So hopefully you guys will see him when we go in the store. But we're at a Walmart right now. Probably going to hit another Walmart and a Target, see if we find some AEW figures, maybe some Royal Rumble elites at Target. I don't know. I'm out of town visiting some friends, and I figured, let's go on a toy hunt, man. So, you know, you never know what the hell you're going to find. So, we're going to go in the store. We'll see what the hell they got. I don't think this is an ishy, ishy, you know, sus area right now. So, we're just going to get in there, see if they have anything. And I'll see you guys when we get on the aisle. Hopefully, we find some new figures, some AEW Elite 82, maybe. I don't know. I just, you never know. You never know what the hell you're going to find out of town. I don't know this area. So, I'm kind of still got to be on the freaking, you know, got to be on the prowl for stuff. But, let's find out what we got today, guys. And uh, I'm going to go get with the wifey and JoJo. And I'll see you guys in the store. Alright guys, first store up, we got a Walmart right here, let's see what we got going on, and yeah, not a single Elite, Brad. Got the Wreck and Slam cycle, got some basics here, basic Kevin Owens, got basic Lana, SummerSlam Wave, it looks like we got Bray and Nikki and Jeff and Nikki and Lana, and just a bunch of garbage. Bunch of rings from AEW, bunch of titles, Wreck and Slam cycle, no Elites though, no AEW, no nothing, so... Looks like this one's a bus. Let's go get the Joes and the wife, and uh, let's go hit up the next location. Christ. All right, guys, well, that first store didn't have a John Brown thing. I'm still going to pretend to be on the phone, even though I have people in the car with me. JoJo, what are you doing? JoJo, what are you doing? You know what he wants to do. You want to you wanna do what? Drive. We'll drive when we get back in. But alright guys, we're here to Target now. We just got in the parking lot. That Walmart sucked. That's why it was like a really short clip, but we're gonna go in here, see if we can find Royal Rumble Elites, possibly some other stuff. Oh, look terrible. What is, what's going on? You, you, you ready to go inside? What you gonna find in there? Let's go, Joe. Let's go. Somebody's calling me. Somebody's actually calling me now. Alright, we'll see you in the inside. Alright guys, this Target actually has some stuff, which is absolutely insane, Brad. AEW Dustin Rhodes, it's the only AEW figure we got. We got Kyle O'Reilly in the house, War Games attire, never thought I'd see this in stores, which is absolutely insane. Baby Yoda's running wild, we got the Viking Raiders, Ricochet in the house, Bailey. we got some belts, Wreck and Slam Mobile, actually a lot of stuff going on in here. JoJo going crazy. KO, we got Roman, we got Braun. I mean, this this is actually a decent little selection for this target right here. I'm actually very, very shocked to see what we got going on. JoJo really wants the baby Yoda. JoJo, what do you think about the big Yoda? JoJo, what do you think? JoJo, you like the big Yoda? You like the big Yoda, Joe? Wow, as big as he is. <laughs> JoJo, which one? Tell the fans which one you want. Show them. Where is it? <laughs> you want giant Yoda? He wants Yoda. Well, it looks like Joe's getting big Yoda. And, I mean, that, I mean, pretty good selection, man. The first AEW figure I've ever seen at Target. You don't like that one? Woo-wee! Like Shows you how he feels about that. All right, guys, well, Target had, actually, that's actually a pretty decent selection at Target. Now I'm about to go into this Big Lots over here. Big Lots right there. JoJo's driving now. JoJo, you driving? Jojo, are you driving? He's what are you see? seeing, boy? What do you see? <gasps> you drive. <gasps> oh, yeah. yeah. Drive. Oh. oh, my God. Anyways, guys, I'm about to go into Big Lots and we'll see what we got. All right, guys, I came into this Big Lots alone because I didn't want, you know, I didn't want to get them out of the car simply because I don't know if this place is even going to have anything. My Big Lots back at home, I went on a toy hunt not too long ago trying to film it, and we didn't have any figures whatsoever, so hopefully this Big Lots is a little bit differently here, but I am not seeing any, man. Like, this is this is kind of just disgusting, to be honest with you. We got some Braun and Miz cars. We got the WWE trucks from Hot Wheels. But I legit don't see any other figures. This is absolutely atrocious. I don't know how this even happens. I don't see anything right now. I'm not seeing anything at the moment. Oh, dude, this isn't looking too good here. You remember that one time my, my Big Loss was absolutely stacked. 
And then, the, you know, we kept coming back, and they had figures, but they were all, like, too overpriced to buy, really. And it looks like they were just like, okay, you don't want to buy our overpriced figures, Brad? We're not even going to carry figures. How about that? And I cannot find them. I couldn't find them locally, and now I can't find them out of town. So I don't know. Maybe they're, I don't know. They're downside. They don't have that. You remember they had that WrestleMania little standy thing or the display case or whatever you want to call that. But I'm not seeing anything else, man. It looks like a busted thing. I don't see any figures on any of these aisles. So I guess I'm going to go get, get back in the car and we'll go probably to Target, another Target across the way. And I'll see you guys there. But this looks like a total bust. Hate to see it. All right, they had nothing. They didn't have anything, Joe. I know, it was terrible, man. I know, they didn't have nothing. Ugh. All right, well, they didn't have anything. They didn't have a single figure in there. Jojo. Jojo. <laughs> but I guess Jojo's gonna drive us to our next location, and we'll see you guys when we get to the next door. All right, guys, we are now at Target. Jojo crapped himself. He drove us here, and then he crapped himself. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's literally everywhere. Jojo, what did you eat? That last target we went to had a little something special going on there, young man. Jojo had something special going on in his trousers. <laughs> Jojo, you gotta get cleaned up so we can go in the store. Let's see if this one has anything else we see on the aisle. All right, guys, here we go, target number two. And it actually looks like this, this target and the other target must be just twins or something because they literally have the same exact figures except there's an ultimate fiend and we have a couple more basics, I think. But as far as elites, like literally Viking Raiders, Ricochet, all that stuff, it looks to be the exact same as the last target. Yoda, you already have a Yoda in your hand. You got Shorty G. Same stuff. It's kind of weird. It's like the exact same. It's the exact same as the other target. Except no AEW this time. We got you. He wants this again. Add this target. Okay, so you got that Yoda, but you're also <laughs> holding a Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like you, bro. That's what you look like. Is that why you like him? <laughs> but you could trade out the Dustin for the Ultimate Fiend, so then it's the same exact thing, except you trade the AEW for the Ultimate Edition Fiend, but it's a pretty decent selection again, compared to the other one, or the ones at home. Anyways, that's it. All right, guys, so this last store is actually going to be at a Second and Charles. And if you guys don't know what Second and Charles is, it's basically like this entertainment, pop culture, music, slash bookstore that has figures and all kinds of ish in it. It's actually a really cool store, probably one of my favorite stores to go in. They don't have, like, a ton of wrestling stuff, but they usually have some, like, random Jacks wrestling stuff that people have returned. They have some, like, random elites sometimes just in package, usually, like, kind of older figures. So we're just going to find out. They may not have anything, but I figured it'd be a cool store to go into anyways. And uh, we'll just go in there, see what's up. And I did drop off Wifey and JoJo back at the place so that uh, JoJo could take a nap seat right before dinner. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to knock this place out. We'll see what they got. Hopefully they got some good ish, but I cannot believe that that one target had an AEW figure, man. I can't get over that. That's absolutely insane. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the store. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and hit it. All right, guys, here we are in the figure section. You guys can see what I'm talking about. They kind of just have like a little bit of everything. You got the fan central Kevin Nash right here with the thing. I remember when those were at Toys R Us, RIP to them. But you just kind of got a lot of random stuff. You got some UFC stuff over here. You got a random John Stockton figure. Entrance greats Kurt Angle. I think they have a few more of these. We'll have, to, we'll have to walk around and see. Got a lost figure of Charlie. So, yeah, man, I mean, they literally have just random stuff. You you can literally find all kinds of random stuff. You can find some wild stuff in the, in the in, you know, some random stuff in the wild is what I meant to say. But, yeah, man, I mean, you, you, you don't know what the hell you're going to find in here. But as far as wrestling stuff, this is all I can find at the moment. But... Might as well just take a look at everything we got around here. You got some gremlins over there. Back to the future. Kurt Angle. What the hell is this? PB&J Little Pony. I don't know what that is. I know what Little Pony is, but PB&J? I don't, I don't know about that. Got some Stranger Things. John Wick. We got some Walking Dead stuff. We got more entrance grace. Kurt Angle, it looks like over here. Some Marvel Legends stuff. Some DC. Got some Spider-Man entrance grades Kurt Angle. I really, I wish these were cheaper. I'd just buy them all and do random fix-ups with Kurt Angle. That's not the case we got right now, but Kurt Angle's right there. You got some other stuff going on over here, and I'm going to keep looking around and see if I find any more wrestling stuff, but it looks like that's it for the figures unless we come up on something, but I'll let you guys know. Dude, I was searching through the DVDs, guys. Look at this right here. We got some random WWE stuff. We got the highest flyers over here. We got some Stone Cold Steve Austin. I think I own that DVD. John Cena's Greatest Rivalries. 
We got some other things going on. What is this? Oh my god, Triple H documentary and stuff. We got the history of the W. I remember when that was in freaking Suncoast way back in the day. We got some more DVDs. Oh my god, Bad Blood 2004. Chris Benoit defends the championship against Kane on that pay-per-view. You got The Rock. You got the Best of Attitude era. You got Brock Lesnar. You got some 90s stuff. Sean versus Brett rivalry. WrestleMania 27. I mean, that's the, this is some of the stuff you can find in here, man. Totally random, but it's so crazy to see like DVDs like this back in the day, man. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. New and improved DX. I don't think so, Brad. Anyways, I thought that was pretty badass. It doesn't look like we have anything else here, but we'll see about it, guys. I'm not really finding anything else. Uh, this is the clearance section right now. I'm just kind of walking around, seeing if we can find any more like wrestling stuff or random wrestling, you know, memorabilia or figures or anything like that. What the hell is this? Rob Van Dam Classics Jax figure. Oh my God, bro! I don't even know where this is from. I'm gonna have to do some research on this. A Rob Van Dam figure at this random location that we would hit up. That's badass. I gotta grab this just for the, just for the, you know, just gotta grab it. All right, guys. I'll, I'll see you guys back at the house. All right, guys, we're back at our friend's house. This is a little guest room that they have, but this is the only thing that we grabbed on the toy hunt. I mean, I really couldn't find anything else, even though, again, all those places actually had some pretty decent stuff right here. I think overall, I think I determined, I can't remember if this is the... I, I want to say this is either a WWE shop exclusive RVD figure or it's like the fall of ECW ECW like DVD exclusive figure or something like that. But none of the case, look at the back right here, bro. You got some freaking legends back here. I have a custom of this Ultimo Dragon. You guys have seen that on the channel. You got Devon Dudley, you got the GOAT Chris Benoit, and you got Rene Dupree. And then don't be a punk, get them all. Six inch figures, and then you got Elimination Chamber down there. That's not the good Elimination Chamber, but it's a Elimination Chamber. Rob Van Dam action figure. Nice. I think I ended up paying like 18 or something like that, which it is what it is. I, I don't really care. I think it's just a cool little piece that since we found it in the wild, didn't get it back in the day. I'm going to go ahead and put it up in the in the figure room when we get back to the house. But nonetheless, we found the AEW figures at Target. We didn't find any Decade of Domination. We didn't find anything like that. But nonetheless, we are going to be going back home today and then we can uh, see if we have them at our local Walmarts or anything like that. But if we hit a few stores on the way home, I'll be sure and vlog it or something like that. But I think that's going to do it for the video. I hope that the clips turned out all right in the stores that is but uh at least we didn't come up with nothing i feel like the last few toy hunts we've ended up with nothing and yeah but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel i'm not gonna do a random shout out today because i'm not at the house so i guess i'll hit up with two shout outs in tomorrow's video but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video don't cross the line you cross the line i've been